Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the flight deck. Today I want to talk about a device that I'm using for more than three years now, almost every day. I've taken it to every FPV event I ever went to. And if it would break today, I would run down to my computer and buy a new one and then check the tracking site every 10 minutes until it arrives. I'm talking about the RF Explorer, a handheld spectrum analyzer from Seat Studio. Now, spectrum analyzers are used throughout engineering and science for many different media and purposes. And if I would talk about all of them, that would be a very long video. So in this video, I want to focus on the specific use of spectrum analyzers for FPV. The majority of hobby grade FPV vehicles are using a 2.4 GHz uplink and a 5.8 GHz video downlink. This RF Explorer has two receiver modules. One is going from almost zero to 2.7 GHz and the other one is going from 4.8 to 6.1 GHz. Depending on the frequency you want to receive, you need to use different antennas. You can get this device with a variety of receiver modules in there. If you turn it on, it will show you which modules are installed. The most interesting use of this device for FPV is looking at the 5.8 GHz spectrum. So currently on the display, you can see the noise floor from 5.7 to 5.88 GHz. All my FPV transmitters are transmitting in that frequency range, so I have permanently set the Explorer to show me that range. So if you transmit a signal on the 5.8 GHz band, the analyzer will show you what frequency and what signal strength it has. So when I change the frequency of the transmitter, you can see the signal jump across the band. Above the signal, you can also see the results in numbers. Now, this is already pretty interesting if you're just using one transmitter to figure out where and how strong it's transmitting. But it gets even more interesting when multiple transmitters are using the band. Now, you can see the two different signals and how far they are apart and how strong they are in relation. The signal strength depends a lot on the distance. So if I move closer to this one, it's stronger. If I move over to the other one, this gets stronger. You can also see the interharmonics of the signals on the right side here. And you can also observe what happens when the transmitter has a problem. Like in this case, when the battery voltage gets too low, the transmitter is just spamming the band for a couple of seconds before it goes down completely. So now the second transmitter is gone and we can only see the clear signal of this one transmitter on the band. Now this gets a lot more complicated if you're adding more transmitters. So this analyzer is very useful to make sure that in a group of flyers everyone gets a clear signal. Another favorite use case of this device for me is to put a directional antenna on there and then find lost quads in my yard. By moving the antenna around, you can detect where a signal is coming from, and that makes finding transmitters in the wild a lot easier. I have shown this thing in quite a few of my videos over the last years, but recently I started to receive a lot more questions. Where can I get one? What version do I need? And how much does it cost? This here is the 6G combo version of the RF Explorer and I have paid 365 US dollars for it. The antenna on the right is for the 1 MHz to 2.7 GHz band. I've never used it. 
I'm exclusively using this device to analyze the 5.8 gigahertz band. It has standard SMA connectors, so you can use it with most of the popular antennas that are used in FPV. $365 is a lot of money, but I love this thing so much. If it would break today, as I said, I'd order another one immediately. I bought mine in 2015 from ReadyMade RC, and I actually wanted to put a link to their shop in the video description, but when I went to check, it turned out they don't have it anymore. So instead, I have decided to make a bulk purchase directly from the supplier, Seed Studio, and buy a whole bunch of the 6G base model. If you wanna buy one of these analyzers for $225, you can click the link down there in the video description for details. See you later.